Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very special video as I have created a free bank audit utility which can help all professionals who will be involved in upcoming weeks in the bank audit. I have shown detailed usage how you can use this utility, how you can download this utility and I am sure this is going to save you a lot of time and efforts. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hello everyone, I welcome you all once again. This is a very special video where I am going to share a special bank audit utility created by me. For all the chartered accountants who are going to conduct bank audit in the upcoming weeks. So I will show you how this utility works and towards the end how we can install it and what are the errors we can get while installing it. So simply I can simply open any excel file and this is an add-in file so we can load the add-in and like we get home tab, insert tab, other tab, one bank audit tab you will get in your excel. As I told towards the end I am going to show how we will install it. It is very very simple process and one time process. So after getting this, what we have to do is first load the sheets, whichever sheet you want to work on. Suppose I have some sample data where I have CSV files and Excel file. Okay, I have done this loading part so that we can load the CSV inside Excel. So I will copy the location and here I will choose CSV files and I can see there are two CSV files. Okay, I will choose synthetic CCOD. Okay. And when I will load, there are many types of files, suppose CCOD, uh, uh, all types of loan and maybe some other file. So since this is CCOD, I will simply click on one and file will be loaded with the name CCOD. So basic columns, we will see what are the columns. There is account number, account description means types of loan, customer name, customer number, interest rate, limit, drawing power, account balance is the outstanding balance, new IREC is the NPA classification suppose above 4 it is considered as NPA right old IRSC and there are many other columns which you will find now the first thing that we want to do is remove the NPA since they are being dealt separately so what we can do is bank audit again and remove NPA before that I want to show you one thing suppose I am doing the filter new IRSC column we will see that there are 0 to 8 so above 3 I do not want very simple so what I will do is simply click on remove NPA and what it will ask me enter the column letter for NPA rating to filter. So L is the column and L and OK. Within a fraction of a second only by telling which column it is it has done the work and now you can see that only 0 to 3 is there. Similarly what is the next step that I want the limit wise highest number of accounts which have got the highest limits those are my priority to check. So what I can do is simply click on top rows and here whether I want 25 top accounts or 30 top accounts or 50 top accounts it depends on me. Suppose I am simply typing 20 and OK. So as soon as I am typing 20 the limit wise highest accounts top 20 will be there with all the information. So this can significantly save your time and you just simply have to choose 20, 25, 30 whichever or whatever you want to check. The third one is interest wise which means I want to classify my loans as per the interest rate suppose 8 to 9 percent how many loans are there 5 to 6 percent how many loans are there and what is the outstanding amount. So I will click on the interest wise and simply it is going to ask me which is the interest column since the names can be different that's why I have given every time user input. So E is my interest column and again it is going to ask me total outstanding amount which is the account balance I and these two things as soon as I choose a very simple on a click two pivot tables will be created descending wise which means number first one is count of rates which means 0 to 1 is maximum number of loans this is as per number of loans 184 87 like this so 9 to 10 percent is the lowest since this is a sample data you can try this on your own data right second one is the on the basis of outstanding so what is the highest outstanding in which interest range is the highest outstanding 0 to 1 8 to 9 okay so you can get to know very easily which rate bracket highest outstandings are there similarly again in the third one we have irregular amount so what is the bracket of our irregular amount suppose 2 to 5 like how many accounts are irregular 3 to 5 like like this so simply again i will click on irregular amount and I will check first which is the column which is showing my irregular amount. 
with regular amount simply i will press k and that's it within a fraction of a second it has told me that 2 to 3 like there are 28 accounts which are irregular, irregular 4 to 5 like 26 and so on everywhere i have done the descending so that you can very easily identify top to bottom and as we know it is a pivot table so suppose i want to see 2 to 3 like which are the accounts so simply i will double click and you will get the details of all the accounts you don't have to go and search and filter anything right similarly as i have done for irregular amount also i have done for loan description suppose what are the types of loan what is the outstanding and everything so loan grouping is the next column what i will simply select is loan grouping then it is going to ask me what which column is your account description so we have b here okay next it is going to ask me where is the limit limit is f and outstanding amount is i so three things we have to choose and again a beautiful pivot table will come up giving me all the description of the loan so these are the five types of loan bank has issued this is some of their limits this is the sum of their total outstanding so we can know that 22 percent which means highest loans outstanding is msme cc edfs whatever it is and 82 loans have been given so far in this category so with a fraction of second you can know which is the highest category given which is the highest limits and where it is highest outstanding next is limit grouping which means limit wise i want to see 5 to 10 like how many loan 5 crore above 5 million loan and so on so again i will simply click on limit grouping and all i have to give is f column because there is the limit f so within a fraction of a second we got to know the 5 crore and above there are 221 loans 54 percent of the total loans similarly 1 to 5 crore there are 178 10 to 50 length there is only one loan 0 to 10 lakh only two lakh two loans are there which account for only 0.49 percent of the total loan disbursed again we can see that if i want to see which loan it is simply i will click here and here suppose i want to see 50 lakh to 1 crore only double click here and only the loan with the limit 50 lakh to 1 crore will be here so this way you don't have to do filtering and everything again next is the irregular month grouping which means how much time period the loans are irregular simply i have to choose the date when they went irregular right so irregular amount is here let me see where it is irregular date irregular date is r column that's it so what i will do is irregular month grouping simply i will press r and we can see that very simply 37 months and above irregular there are 124 loans or 34 percent of the total loans three to six months only 79 and so on so seven to nine months maximum minimum of them are outstanding right next again we will go to the file and exceeding sanction which means the account balance is way beyond sanction limit they have crossed the sanction limit okay so what we will do is exceeding sanction simple again outstanding amount is i and limit or drawing power is f and we can know that there are 110 accounts which have which account for 26 percent which have exceeded the sanction amounts we can see limit is 1 minute 8 lakh but account balance is 9 crore so there is some error but definitely this has come to our notice that these are the accounts where the limit has been exceeded and they have gone far beyond their limits this is little bit version 1 of the utility so i am working further on it your suggestions you can email me you can write in the comments i am leaving my email id and everything at the end of this video whatever we need next week again i will come up with version 2 of this utility where your suggestions if any one of you has any suggestion what are the points that can be included you can email me or whatsapp me or whatever in way you can comment below i will try to include that and give you a final version although this is what is going to stay 90 percent of this but some improvements always there is a scope so next week again i will upload the final utility but this i recommend that you try and see what are the lacunas what can be done better this is for all of us and i am sure this is going to help us save a lot of time right 
and last one is bank interest if you want to calculate the bank interest it is very very simple it is going to ask you sorry the balance column and date column and everything right now the question is how do we install this how do we use this right so once i will uninstall my utility okay so from scratch i am going to show you don't worry now i will close this file suppose this is my normal excel okay i will make a new excel file and you can see i don't have that utility so what i have to do is you will find in the link in the description this type of file adding file which will be xlam which is microsoft excel adding if i double click it is simply giving me blank and it is of no use okay so how do we install a file any excel file we can open right i created a new worksheet i am simply opening this and we go to file options and then add-ins that's it when we go to add-ins it is going to manage our add-ins so we will go and browse wherever you will store this file so i have stored this file here okay so i will simply click and i can double click and load the add-in okay it already exists not an issue yes and okay as soon as i click this you will get the utility okay now two three errors which uh, i know that you will encounter some of you may not encounter but if you encounter and don't worry what are the three things you have to do to overcome the errors okay first thing is wherever you are saving this utility suppose i am saving this in adding file right so i will copy this location and what i have to do is again go to file options i have to go to trust center trust center settings and here i have to change here to trusted locations add new location and wherever i have saved this add-in i will simply just add that location here and subfolders so what this will do is this path is already added so this way you can tell the excel that this is a trusted location so not to worry about the virus or something okay so first is this second is macro settings you have to see you have to enable the macro since at the back end of this utility there are only codes so you have to enable the macros and protected view also you have to check right so these three things if you are done then you will not get an error in spite of that if anyone is getting error they can email us they can write the comments i will be fully active this week so that i can take your suggestions and improve this utility so i hope you will share with your friends colleagues whoever is going to do bank audit because i am really hopeful that this is going to save your time and that's the objective guys so with this i want to end this video and anyone facing any issue any suggestion once again i would like to say i am there in the comments i am there in the email i am there in the whatsapp the email and everything i will just display at the end of this so let me know in the comments which one was your favorite part let me know in the comments what modifications can we do and share with your friends like this video and also don't forget to subscribe because there are a lot of giveaways this is our fourth giveaway at 100 subscribers we had given at 300 we had given at 500 we have given and i had planned this at 1000 but little bit i am lacking but since time is very less and we have to make it better so i am giving this utility beforehand not an issue that is not a big matter but yes do subscribe the channel for continuous a and excel thank you friends see you in the next video